college has a long history of public-private partnerships. Uh, in a very interesting way, the Religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary came to a public group of leaders here in Palos Verdes many years ago and urged them to continue this tradition of Marymount in Palos Verdes. Over the years, that has spread uh, into the South Bay, uh, most notab notably at our Palos Verdes Drive North site, the residential site, which was a public-private partnership um, f with the government, the federal government, who gave us the land there and, and asked us to develop it for educational purposes. In recent years, um, that public-private partnership has spread to downtown San Pedro, where the college has been welcomed uh, and really supported by the public, um, by public groups, by public officials, as, we, as we've established a new campus there. And then, of course, most recently, uh, in Northern California and Lake County, uh, yet another example of public-private partnership, where the college was invited by the County of Lake to establish a new campus um, in Lake County and really as a guest of the county. Uh, so we have great hopes for that partnership, but the real pattern here over the last 40 years is the college has been able to really um, meet the spirit of public-private partnerships in a special way with associate degrees, baccalaureate degrees, now graduate degrees, and certainly in a public, uh, in a public um, setting both in an urban area and in a rural area. Marymount College currently has three campuses. Our campus in Ranchos Palos Verdes provides a lot of the lower division curriculum for students. It meets the aspect for general education. In addition, it has classes in, for upper division students as well, like biological sciences, chemistry, things of that nature. We also have the Waterfront Campus. The Waterfront Campus is located in San Pedro. That campus serves mainly an upper division student population. The majority of our upper division classes are offered there. Capstone projects meet there and are presented there and you get a lot of that individual attention as well with your faculty member. We also have a campus in Lake County. The campus in Lake County provides students the ability to complete their degrees when they're looking for their bachelors. We provide our students with the opportunity to obtain a suburban, an urban, and a rural experience in terms of their education. The college is in a great place as it grows. Uh, we're often square feet is our biggest challenge um, to ha have now a very credible case to make to public agencies, both locally and perhaps across the country, where the college is able to bring forward high quality academic programs, ideally that will um, be able to spur economic development and community development, um, but in a very low risk way in that um, facilities and sometimes political support and clout is brought to bear to help the college move into a new community. So we have seen this now uh, twice in the last 24 months uh, in two very different zip codes, um, in San Pedro and in Lake County. And so we're learning a lot about public-private partnerships and quite frankly, we feel we have a lot more we can do uh, over the next decade. We have a vibrant community in, uh, in the arts in San Pedro and we're looking forward to moving into the Kloss Center for the Arts for our media program. Uh, and that is supplemented by our uh, arcade gallery on 6th Street where students have been able to exhibit their work. Um, we have uh, staged student productions in the uh, Warner Grand Theater. So they start in the classroom, delightful campus, um, and we want to make Los Angeles the classroom, California the classroom, um, and I would say the world the classroom. We have vibrant uh, study abroad programs. Our students go to London. We have a regular fall program in London. We currently have students in Geneva, and we are expanding our network of global partners so students can experience uh, their learning and, and learn about themselves in different settings. So um, keep watching us. Mm -hmm.